2019 Mazda 3 hatchback. We are lab testing this for the week. Now before I figure out how to get that into this, let's check it out. A little bit smaller than some of the vehicles we've tested. Hmm, how should we do this, Andy? Should we go through the side? No. Okay. All right, we'll figure out the rear. Super pumped, I was able to get Andy back here with her large bed. At first I thought maybe she was gonna be a little hesitant to jump in because the floor dips in. But as soon as she saw her bed, she just ran right up, boop, and popped her in. Now, in order to make this work, I did drop the second row seats, but if you have a dog that doesn't mind sitting in the second row, then you're not gonna have to deal with that. Here's what the space looks like empty. Seats up versus seats down. And did you notice the seats? They're almost flat. I mean, that's pretty impressive. You also have a spare tire and it comes with a hard cargo cover. Very lightweight, easy to take out. It's not too dark back here with the hatch. Plus, open that moonroof and we get a pretty good breeze. What do you think about this red? The last time we were engulfed in red was when we did the Lexus UX, which by the way, pretty similar size to this. It's soft, the seats are really comfortable. Overall, really clean and sleek design. The only thing I would change is the shiny plastic in the center. It definitely looks scratched. Now I have to say this particular vehicle gets shuffled around a lot to different journalists. It's not for Mandy. Maybe if it were matte black or had a textured look, it might wear a little better. But with that said, this center console is actually pretty sweet. Love that you can move it forward for an even more comfortable armrest. And there's a wireless charger in here, plus a few spots for Andy's dog treats. Hmm. Infotainment, beautiful display, fits real nice here in the space. Now it's not a touch screen, so it does take a little extra time to learn the controller knob. And even though it may take a few turns and taps to get to a certain song or a desired selection, it really hasn't bothered me too much because I usually have Apple CarPlay going and just use Siri. Play Lauren Hill doo-wop. Now playing do. The thing by Lauren Hill. Doesn't have Android Auto, but when you tap on maps, pulls up a nice size. It's not like the entire size of the screen, but definitely way bigger than your phone. You could also make a favorites list, program whatever stations you want, and this has a Bose stereo system. It sounds really good. Now, all the music you hear in my videos are from Epidemic Sound, so I can play one of those songs without having to worry about copyright, demonetization, that kind of stuff. So let's listen. <laughs> Second row seat, it works for me. Now, if you have long legs, it's definitely gonna feel a little bit more snug. Seven and a half inch shoe, a little tight here in the center, but you make it work. Just move your feet to the side. Pushing the passenger seat back, this is what the leg room looks like versus kinda in the middle position. Some additional storage back here, one seat back pocket, doors, and your armrest. When it comes to ventilation, there are no additional air vents back here. So that means you really gotta pump the air up front so your fur kid feels it in the back. I do not recommend smushing them back there. Pop down the seats so they can get better airflow. And speaking of Andy, let's go load her in and go for a drive. Mazda 3 hatchback, I gotta say, immediate response, really fun to floor. Let's go, sport mode. I mean, it feels pretty fast. This has a 2.5 liter, four cylinder engine, six speed automatic transmission, 186 horsepower, 186 pound feet of torque. This is the all wheel drive version, and I have to say it feels very planted. Visibility when you turn to the rear looks like this. 
You do have some blind spots, so you're going to have to rely on those side mirrors. And you have a bunch of safety features like your blind spot detection, lane keep assist, smart braking. And earlier in the parking lot, this is what the camera angles look like. Now you only have a backup camera. Now there's no 360 view. You can't really change the view, but at least you got something. And nighttime visibility was pretty decent. I mean, I'm used to being in a big SUV, so I didn't feel like I had any trouble seeing. Plus, I think those LED lights are really nice looking. In my opinion, hatchbacks make a great alternative to a dog mobile. I mean, if you're a single girl with a dog, this could be perfect. Or if, frankly, you just don't want to drive an SUV or a CUV, you should totally check this out. Now, Andy's a creature of habit. She's used to a larger space, and even though she might prefer that, she has really settled in back there, and we've had a great week with this ride. So if we had to narrow it down, let's tell Amandy our top five favorite features are... One, the clean design. You're not overwhelmed with buttons and knobs. Two, it fits a large dog. Three, the center console. Love the space, movement, and that wireless charger. Four, comfortable seats. And five, the overall look. It's clean, sleek, and that exterior color is called Polymetal Gray Mica. Big thanks to Mazda for letting us lab test the 2019 Mazda 3 hatchback. Oh, Andy, is it lab approved? I think it is. This is totally lab approved. You're very enthusiastic to tell everyone that this is lab approved. We would love it if you would subscribe to our channel and if you click that bell, you'll know when our next lab tested review is up and follow Andy on Instagram to see more photos of this hatchback all week. And we will see you next time. Bye.